Hey everyone, welcome to your Monday, February 17th, and uh, we have some news for you about uh, Nintendo and why we actually might need to worry about the supply of Nintendo Switch in North America. And this is a big deal since Animal Crossing New Horizons launches March 20th, and uh, Nintendo might be having some issues getting Switches to the United States. Now, there is already a supply constraint as announced by Nintendo in Japan. In fact, many retailers right now in Japan are completely sold out of Nintendo Switches. And the reason for this is obviously that virus outbreak in China. I can't even say it by name because it demonetizes the video, uh, but there is a virus outbreak in China. We all know about it. It's been a global uh, issue in some cases. There was actually a case of it really close to my home uh, so it, it's obviously spreading, uh, and while there has been no cases of death in the United States, there's been a ton in the in China, uh, and obviously they're waiting to try to get that completely under control as the amount of people infected and the death toll keeps rising every single day. Um, so we're, we're kind of keeping some tabs on the global market here, uh, and this is affecting Nintendo. Uh, and while Nintendo Switch units for uh, the United States are actually made in Vietnam, um, the supplies for those switches still come from China. So here's an article from Bloomer by one of our favorite reporters, Takahashi Machizuki. Um, this says, Nintendo is likely to struggle to supply sufficient switch consoles to its U.S. and European markets as soon as April due to a production bottleneck caused by the virus outbreak according to people with knowledge of the company's supply chain. Limited component supply coming out of China is affecting output at a Nintendo assembly partner factory in Vietnam, which the gaming giant primarily uses to provide consoles for the U.S., said the people. <laughs> um, asking not to be named because of the details are private. A shortage of components this month would affect Switch units scheduled for arrival in April after existing inventory and current shipments of the console have sold through. A, the potential slowdown would deal a blow to the Kyoto-based company, which is preparing to release a major new installment in the hit Animal Crossing game franchise on March 20th. They're the lifeblood of the system, blah, 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 blah. Nintendo did apologize earlier this month when it announced that Switch hardware uh, and accessory shipments in Japan will be constrained by a virus-imposed production shutdown in China. These products are now out of stock across many Japanese retailers, due also in part to aggressive cashback campaigns by local mobile payment providers. We do not see any major impact on the shipment to the U.S. currently, but we will remain vigilant and take steps if necessary, a Nintendo spokesperson told Bloomberg News. It's possible the supply will be affected by the virus if it becomes more widespread and prolonged. Uh, Switch shipments arriving in the U.S. in February and March won't pose any issues because they've already been dispatched from Asia, said the people familiar with Nintendo's operations. But difficulty may arise with the accumulating enough units for the boats departing later this month or next, which would be arriving in the U.S. in April. Shipments would not completely stop, but would be greatly reduced, according to one person. The U.S. is the company's biggest market, accounting for 43% of its core business. Europe accounts for 27, Japan 21, etc. Let me see here. Uh, it says um, that suppliers within China factories, uh, which provide components to a wide variety of electronic products, said they expect the virus disruption to last at least a few more weeks before they can resume full operation. Speaking on the condition of on amenity, uh, they said their primary concern is resuming production too early and finding a coronavirus infection among their returned workers. They need to an outbreak on factory floors. This exact fear was also voiced by Apple supplier Foxconn in a recent conversation with investors. So basically, it's going to be almost a month before factories are back to full operation in China, uh, which is going to lead to a slowdown for a month-long slowdown uh, for Nintendo. Uh, other people as well, you know, uh, other electronic providers are you're going to see slowdowns as well so basically if you want to guarantee if you're waiting as an example if you're waiting to buy a switch uh for animal crossing you might want to go get it now because the supply is going to be more and more constrained by the time we get to the end of march um so yeah if you're someone waiting waiting to buy one of these for animal crossing in the united states or europe it might be a good idea to get one now unless you want to wait until, you know, April, May. You know, you want to wait till May or June uh, to potentially get one then, you know, whatever. But if you were planning to get one around the launch of Animal Crossing, it's possible there might not be that many available at launch for Animal Crossing. Even though they said supply in March won't be constrained because of this news coming out, you know, people might be buying switches at a higher rate than normal in the U.S. and Europe, leading to them running out. Because uh, that's kind of what happened in Japan here. See, Japan had enough units, you know, presumably to get through February, 
right? They, they had plenty of units to get through February. But because of the news of the supply constraint coming to Japan, people went and bought alt switches over the last two weeks. And because of that, now stores are sold out when normally they would still have units for the rest of the month. They don't anymore because people know that they're going to be supply constrained for a month or two. Um, so now, you know, they're looking to the United States. We now know there is a supply constraint coming up in April, which could lead to a boost in sales for the rest of this month and obviously the beginning of March, which could lead to, to basically having no units available except maybe pre-orders for the Animal Crossing bundle or the Animal Crossing Switch uh, at the beginning of uh uh, or on March 20th, I guess, would be when that system comes out. So uh, I, I'm very curious. Um, you know, we, we don't talk a lot about global events uh, or politics or anything because this isn't really a political matter, uh, but this is a matter that does affect Nintendo, and it's the first major one I can recall uh, in my adult life anyways because um, as, a, as a child, I didn't pay as close of attention to this stuff. But as, as an adult, this is the first major event I can remember that affects direct manufacturing of uh, the uh, of a Nintendo platform that's really popular. Now, we have seen, you know, the Wii as an example be really supply-constrained, but that was just due to supply and demand. That wasn't due to any major um, event happening that was slowing down production. It was Nintendo wasn't prepared for the demand and didn't have enough factories running at the time, uh, and it took a while for them to catch up. Uh, this is different. They have enough factories running for Switch demand, but they just they can't make the supplies or can't make the parts fast enough to actually build a Switch, whether it's the NAND flash module they're waiting on or DDR4 or wh whatever it happens to be that they're waiting on. Uh, they can't get enough of them quickly because the factories themselves are, are operating, you know, at 20, 30, 40, 50% or whatever. And a lot of these factories aren't just making parts for Nintendo. They're making parts for other companies as well. You know, Foxconn, for example, makes parts for many companies. Uh, so... Yeah, I'm I'm very um, I'm I'm very saddened by this news, uh, a little bit. Like I, I don't want to act like it's the end of the world. That oh my gosh, there's going to be a shortage on switches for a while. In fact, that's good for Nintendo. It's going to be a boon to their sales, uh, both before they run out of stock and then immediately when they're able to restock properly. Uh, they, it will also be a boon for sales as well because these shortages lead to more desire for people to buy systems right now and then more desire to buy them when they're immediately restocked. Uh, so who knows? I mean, this could end up being a boon for Nintendo and they see low sales in April, but a huge boost in May when the when the stock comes in and then they end up selling out because now the demand is so high because people are worried it's going to be sold out for even longer. Um, and obviously, you know, the, the projection by... Foxconn and other companies that they'll be back to making parts in full in three weeks. Uh, it, it's still a projection. It could take longer. Uh, last I checked, the coronavirus uh, over the last you know week or so hasn't necessarily slowed down. Um, so I don't know uh, you know what what's going to happen because uh, it's it's clearly going to you know it'd be getting outside of that one area in China. So I don't know how it's going to affect. Um, you know, this stuff moving forward. And here's the thing, they could all come back to work and resume full production in three weeks only to have an outbreak at one of the factories Nintendo's parts are being made from. And then the whole factory gets shut down and quarantined. So that wouldn't be good either. So uh, we're, we're, they're, they're playing it safe right now by only having, you know, select workers still working the lines uh, that they have, you know, have tested and everything's fine. But, um, you know, these factories employ thousands and thousands of people. There's a, a very high chance that a breakout could happen Um and that's why they're kind of waiting. They're playing the wait and see game. Like, when's it going to stop massively spreading? When are they able to treat it well enough that people aren't dying from it so much? I mean, I know there's a lot more people sick than, than have died, but there's still a decently high percentage in China, at least. Um, for us in the U.S., you know, we have to more, worry more about influenza and stuff than we do that virus because our even the people who have had it, most of the people have had it clear their system and are fine because we have really, really good health care in the United States, no matter how much you want to argue about um the cost of that health care, uh, we do have good health care. So um, we haven't had anyone, you know, even though we've had a low number of cases, we haven't even had the same percentage of people uh, die because we've had 0% die in the U.S. So, um, you know, how well China is equipped to deal with the number of cases. I mean, China is the most popular or the most populated place on the planet. Um, so I can't imagine their health care system could handle nearly the amount of people they're having to handle. Um, so... I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about all this down in the comments below. Um, are you more likely, if you don't own a Switch, to go pick one up? Or if you were thinking about picking up a Switch for somebody else or a Switch Lite or whatever, are you more likely to go get one now while the supply is there? Or uh, are you going to... 
uh, be worried a little bit. Now, one company that's probably going to be happy about this is GameStop. <laughs> um, because supply constraints mean people turn to the used market, which means a lot of used switches are going to be selling in April. So uh, there is that. And I won't be surprised if the used market ends up selling out. Uh, Nintendo's refurbished you know, on their website likely selling out because uh, Animal Crossing is a big deal. I don't think... You know, anyone who doesn't think Animal Crossing is a big deal, I don't think understands how popular that franchise has gotten since New Leaf. Um, going into New Leaf, it was kind of sort of, uh, uh, you know, low-end Zelda popularity, two, three, four million seller. After New Leaf, everything changed. 11 plus million in sales. Uh, there's no reason to believe that this isn't going to cross 10 million on Switch eventually. If not, you know, within a month or two, definitely at some point it'll be a 10 million seller on Switch. Uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons is going to be massive, and it's going to push millions and millions of extra Switch sales. And it is like the de facto game to get for Switch to start this year. So, um, man, it, it's going to suck that Nintendo is going to be supply constrained immediately after the launch of that game. Basically, a week later, boom, they're supply constrained. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, the world has to deal with worldwide, um, you know, fallout from things like this, and it's really uh, nobody's fault at this point. Uh, this is just the way the world works. People get sick, and sometimes it affects things. And right now, it's going to be affecting us gamers in terms of getting supplies on Nintendo Switch. And here's the thing. If it's affecting Switch, I also still have to wonder in the back of my mind, you know, I know Sony and Microsoft are kind of playing it off like it's not affecting anything, but if it's affecting Switch supply right now, how can we ex expect it to not affect supply of Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5? Because they use similar factories in China. So I, I, I have to wonder... Uh, about all of that but you know what uh, that's for a future debate if and when uh, we get some news or uh, Microsoft and uh, Sony announce anything about that but uh, anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in I am Nathaniel RoboJets from Nintendo Prime hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did drop a like leave a comment below head to the channel subscribe hit that bell icon and I'll see you in the next video